<laughs> wow. I mean, we've been waiting. We've been waiting for another trailer of Captain America uh, Civil War. Civil War, where we've been waiting for another trailer. I didn't think it was going to come out this soon. I thought it was going to come out in Batman v Superman when that premiered. So I just watched it twice already. And... <sighs> Yes, Spider-Man is in this trailer. Am I happy about it? Not really, honestly. I think you could have just done the web and not showcase Spider-Man and all his glory. You didn't need to show Spider-Man. I think that's a bad move by Marvel. If they wanted to be different than, let's say, Warner Brothers uh, and DC, they should have not shown Spider-Man until the film was released because we already, we're already hyped about this film. We don't need to be hyper. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. There is a lot of great things that I'm looking forward to Civil War. I think Civil War is going to be such a great fucking film. Is it going to be better than Winter Soldier? I'm not necessarily sure. Before any, all this, like, you know, Spider-Man was introduced and all that stuff, I would have said yes. But there's so much going into this film. There's so many different storylines. There's so many other characters you really have to kind of establish and maybe get rid of that this might be too overcrowded not sure i still have great faith that this film is going to be very very good because of the relationship between tony and captain and we see this in the trailer this is what i liked about it you know it starts off with really showcasing a lot of the harm than any good that the avengers have really done and tony is still trying to make the world better and that doesn't necessarily mean he's doing a great job look at ultron that was his fault um but he's trying to keep everybody in check. And Captain says, that's not how we roll. That's not the American way, baby. Uh, kind of is. So this trailer, what? first of all, I'm going to point out a lot of the things I really liked about this trailer. And that's, of course, the establishment of Tony and where this relationship can go with Tony and Cap and where it could conclude. At the end of this trailer, when they were fighting, I kind of had that gut, like that feeling like, what if Tony kills Cap? That would be crazy, right? What if he didn't mean to kill him? It just happened. I mean, when two people are fighting and the way that they're fighting. I mean, look at that one scene, of course, with uh, Bucky. Uh, Bunky Winter Soldier, a.k.a. Winter Soldier. Straight out, no, no, no hesitation. Fires at Tony. And Tony Stark is so lucky that he had that hand, that Iron Man hand, to block that bullet. And he was, you, you, you can see him in a trailer. Like, he's like, oh, shit, I almost just died right now. Um, we do showcase a lot of the other Avengers. The one interesting scene in this trailer was Scarlet Witch against Vision. You see Scarlet Witch using her witch powers against Vision and Vision just kind of going on his knees and like kind of in agony a little bit. So that's very interesting. If you know anything about the comics, you know Scarlet Witch and the Vision do hook up. But I don't know if that's going to be the case. for the, there. Was, it was kind of hinted a little bit after Age of Ultron, but I don't know if they're going to go that route. Um, love Black Panther. I want to know more about This is what I'm so excited about Civil War is Black Panther panther i want to know what this character is all about his suit looks awesome i love the speed that he does i love him chasing down bucky in this uh, trailer i love bucky um we see winter soldier in the very beginning of this trailer and he has that badass mask i love his whole suit winter soldier has um we also have Rhodey in here of course we have war machine uh, it's hinting that he might die is showcasing this in a trailer and honestly i wouldn't really care i think don Cheadle is a great actor but him as Rhodey war machine i never liked it i like terrence howard in that um role but we'll see uh, honestly i just feel like if Rhodey dies i'm not gonna really care all too much we also have uh scarlet witch uh scarlet witch uh scarlet johansson um black widow we see uh roman uh um natasha basically we see natasha talking to tony and like warning him like straight out threatening him like you better you better watch your back so like that was great i really like that scene but the one scene i fucking really enjoyed was that ant-man scene like the movie was okay in my opinion but paul rudd as ant-man i really thought they could really take this character somewhere and the way he just comes in the scene and the way he just uh he shrinks down and you know goes on the hand like oh it's gonna be money baby it's gonna be money i thought that i i can't wait for that scene um a lot of great of course general ross who was in incredible hulk they said that he's gonna be a little bit he's the same character but a little bit different so we'll see how that uh 
goes. We'll see where the Hulk is. Like, because Hulk's missing. Where is the Hulk at? I think that you really have to address that as well. So there's a lot of things going on here. Now, I've already talked about in the first trailer, like, and Civil War itself, that a lot of storylines from the comics, but, like, they could introduce a little bit more to something different. There's a different kind of team, um, you know, than the comics, really. I just and but they have and just the way they're bringing in Spider-Man is so much different as well. We know he's going to be on Tony's side. We know that he's. I believe you guys saw my other videos where I said that they. It's saying it's rumor. I guess rumor or it's being kind of confirmed that, like he looks up to Tony. That's why he's like kind of. He, he's actually very. He, he's always looked up to Tony, especially in the Iron Man suit. I will say though, watching Iron Man versus Captain America, I wish the Iron Man suit. I want. The first film, Iron Man suit. I want that them to bring that back. The mock, whatever you're going to call it. Um, that first suit, the, uh, the Stan Winston suit, was just... I want it back. I, I miss it a lot. I think the, the suits are cool that Iron Man has, but I think you need to bring the classic back, please. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't the classic. Now, let's get to the number one thing. Spider-Man. Very, uh, it's pretty. I don't, I don't know what the hell I, I seen it twice. I don't know what the hell Tony said, but he said something. We see the web, we see the web catch, uh, Cap's shield, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of weird that nobody noticed, like, you know, he'd be up there. Uh, the suit, the suit looks bad. I think it looks bad. I think, I think honestly, Andrew Garfield's suit was better. Uh, it's. It reminds me of like the old style cartoon suit, you know, not like not not Spider-Man the 90s cartoon. I'm talking about like Spider-Man and his amazing friends cartoon. Like it reminded me so much of that. And then when they tried to do the Deadpool with Spider-Man and his eyes, which you could do, I guess you could do. It just it feels like it's just not a it's not a it, the suit doesn't grasp me. The, the suit just looks to me horrible. Uh, the way they did his eyes, I think it's a little bit too big of a black uh, the, uh, boldness um, around his white eyes. Um, I don't necessarily think... Uh, for Spider-Man, I think for Deadpool, it worked really well with his white eyes. And you could see him, his uh, eye movements. And you could see him, like, you know, kind of blink and stuff. I think for Spider-Man, uh, you don't necessarily need that. I think... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man and the original uh, Raimi Spider-Man. I think those suits worked on its own. You didn't have to have the eyes always like kind of you know move around with it. You didn't have to have the Deadpool Deadpool kind of look. But I don't like the suit and the way this Tom Holland did his lines. Like it was just one little line, but the way he just kind of put it out there was. I don't know if that's going to be the line that he actually uses uh, in the film itself, but it's. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm a little. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm. A, I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna judge until I see the film and see how the Spider-Man is. But I'm a little bit worried. I. I really wasn't digging that suit at all. I just like. I just feel like it. Just it felt like coloring to me. It felt like somebody colored with a crayon, and I felt like it just needed to pop out a little bit more. It was a little maybe too bright red and just not enough uh, lines you could see like of the webbing of the suit. Um, maybe that's his first suit, so maybe he'll get a better suit later on, especially with Tony. Uh, and the, the thought of the two teams really just like running after each other and just colliding with each other makes no sense to me. Like these are smart motherfuckers. These are like, you know, in the army, you know, people who have gone through war. This is not a smart approach to just come running at each other and attacking each other, which is kind of crazy that they would all be attacking each other when they are Avengers, when they're supposed to, you know, they fought alongside each other. Now they're trying to kill each other. So it's going to be interesting how they play that aspect as well. Uh, the one also scene I really liked was, of course, a Hawkeye. Hawkeye did his uh, little thing with his arrows. That was pretty sweet as well. Um, the Tony, the Tony and, uh, cap fight i'm looking forward to that i'm just hoping that there's a lot more to that fight uh than we're seeing in the trailers that there's just shit that we're we really haven't even really even covered yet and i'm pretty sure they will be uh but overall i thought this trailer was good i thought spider-man suit was terrible <laughs> um i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to seeing spider-man but the way he looked i, I hope they kind of change it up a little bit it just looked it doesn't look maybe it's not finished i'm gonna give it that uh, but the way the suit looks, I'm just not really digging it. Honestly, I'm 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 not I'm I'm not I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't really dig the suit right now. So we'll see though more images and stuff. And I think it was a huge mistake to introduce Spider-Man uh, in this trailer. I think you keep him wrapped up. You I know you know leaks shit and all that stuff, but 
I, I don't think you introduce him until the film. And I think they were doing a very good job not him getting leaked in online. Um, I haven't seen anything like that. So I think you should have, I think you should just definitely uh, wait until the film actually came out. So and not to go the Batman v Superman route, but thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, would really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it and comment below if you agree with me or not. And what did you feel about this civil war trailer too? And thank you guys. And I'm Danny Magadison. I'm out. Bye guys.